lockdowns, quarantine, it all sucks. But what we wanna do is get better, come out stronger. In this video, we're gonna talk about false tension or false separation, how to identify it, how to fix it. So check it out. It's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a simple thing that's causing you a lot of problems, and if you fix it really quick, you're gonna throw further today. Again, it's quarantine time, and we've been in lockdown. This thing sucks. We've gotten our season ripped away. We've had the Olympics postponed. It's a very disappointing thing, but one of the things you're gonna notice is that the strong survive, and those that are gonna be resourceful, improvise, try to stay in shape, continue to learn and develop their technique are the ones that are gonna get ahead. So again, and what we thought we would try to do is really kind of share some of the things that we found have really quick results and we want to help you guys out there to understand these things now this is kind of a critical thing now we've seen this at the beginner level and we've seen this with some more advanced throwers as well and they're all kind of making a similar mistake now what is that one of the things we're going to do is is we want to help you understand how to create the right tension or avoid what we refer to as false separation today's video will include the use of one of our drill bands now again we started using drill bands last year really heavily because it starts to give you a ton more feedback and that is really key good positions have a feeling bad positions have a feeling and if you want to learn more about our system and our bands click the links below so today what we're going to talk about is a common mistake and when we use the band again we're going to create stretch because we want to create length and we want to learn how to move long and the bands are really good for that one of the things I think again for years we've used PVCs I think that's one of the things that has been and used for a long time, you know, wooden dowels and PVC poles. And those things have a place and I think they have a value. However, what the thing that we like about, especially when we're dealing with the discus, is the band is gonna be able to give you the double separation, where that means when we get here. Now, this is why I think the discus gets harder than the shot. So one of the things that we're doing is we, as we set up and we stretch, we see athletes doing this. So you're gonna notice how that band technically is off my back. There's no separation here. Now I have tension and I have tension through my core, but what a lot of kids are doing is they're doing this and they're feeling tension here across the chest, but that's not where the tension comes. The tension is gonna come from moving this here and creating stretch this way and feeling stretch on the chest here, not by trying to keep stretch on the chest by reaching back. So one of the things the band helps us do is see, we have a lot of athletes doing this. So coaches and throwers, Go look at your video and see, do you see a lot of your athletes doing this type of wind where they reach? And you're gonna notice when I show you that and I wind and I reach, you'll notice that the band comes off my back. Now, if I had a PVC pipe, I can't really see that. But with the band, I can see, well, do I have some separation here, but I don't technically have the, the shoulders rotated around the lower body. So if I'm doing this and I turn, the band is actually across the entry side shoulder. You're gonna see how I have tension here. Even if I shift over here or here, I'm gonna be able to stay long. And you're gonna see me being able to come this way. But when I finish here and I start this way, you're gonna see how I'm actually leading with the chest and the chest, the separation that we're gonna be trying to regain, which is in the middle of the throw, we're gonna see this, we're gonna be opening, and we're gonna typically open up too much, shift off early, off the delivery leg, and you're gonna lose distance. If you're a beginning thrower or your coach, the simple thing that we want you to understand in this drill is where do we create tension? We wanna turn the shoulders, and we wanna turn the arm and the shoulder, and we wanna feel the tension through here, through the trunk. And that's what's gonna do is create stretch reflex. And that's something, again, we talk about in a lot more depth inside our throwing chain reaction program. But for the idea here is we wanna create that stretch movement so that we're gonna be able to come back through here into the throw, and that is going to be key. Find out if you're false separating. Comment below. We want to know if you're doing that. Look at your film. Is that something you've been aware of? And are you feeling tension up through the chest when you're supposed to just feel the tension here? Do you feel something? Yes. You'll feel the shoulder when you get the discus back, but when you feel tension through the chest at the back of the circle, that's an incorrect false tension. And if you're learning to move or you're doing movement like that rep after rep, 
you're not going to feel the correct positions you're not going to move in the right positions and progress is going to be slow if you learn to feel how to feel separation and the right tension through the trunk you're going to be moving into the throw much more dynamically and you're going to be able to generate the right type of tension and you're going to feel that tension through here and up through here as we go through the finish so hopefully that is helpful we want to hear back from you guys hit that like button for us subscribe be sure to check out the throwing chain reaction system and we will see you on the next video